You're watching Channel 2, Houston's home for news. It's one of the biggest concerns for parents right now, the safety of our children during this pandemic. Tonight, a local school district is doing its part to keep students safe and stop the spread. Our Vincent Crivelli live in Galveston with the effort by Galveston ISD. Vincent? Dominique, good evening. Thanks to a partnership with the state, the district now has the ability to test students and staff members on site, and testing began today. Galveston ISD is home to 7,000 students and hundreds of staff members, and the pandemic is top of mind. We are making it as safe as possible for the kids to be able to be on site get a quality education and be as safe as we can make them. The district spokesperson Billy Rudolph says the district received 2000 rapid COVID tests from the Texas okay. Education Agency. So, there are 40 tests in each box. These stacks of tests will allow them to test students and staff members at schools with teen health center facilities. It's really the most convenient and cost effective way for our students and staff to be able to get tested. There are five teen health center facilities within Galveston ISD. Practitioners there perform the tests for free. If we can test them very quickly, we can isolate them quickly and make sure that we're protecting the rest of the community that way. Angie Brown, executive director of Teen Health Center Inc., says the test results are 98% accurate and are available within 15 minutes of taking the test. Our phones have rung continuously today for, for these tests. Brown says they're fully booked up today and tomorrow. Our center's mission is to strengthen the health and well-being of Galveston's youth through easily accessible school-based care. Rudolph says whenever the district runs out of tests, the state will resupply them for the foreseeable future. And the district spokesperson says about 20 people were tested today for the coronavirus, and one of those tests came back positive. Reporting live in Galveston, Vincent Crivelli, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Vincent, thank you.